What's going on everyone? I am back here with another video for you guys today. And today I'm going to be giving you guys a demo of Touch ID on the iPhone 5S. <clears throat> um, currently the only iOS device that has Touch ID <clears throat> uh, is the iPhone 5S. Uh, but I do presume that the next gen iPhone that will most likely come out later this year, as well as the next iPad and iPod Touch should also get Touch ID. Uh, so I'm excited for that as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the demo. Uh, so, as you can see, the home button actually, let me turn this off. Uh, the home button is uh, completely different from previous generations of the iPhone because um, the Touch ID sensor is embedded into the actual home button itself. And this metal ring around the outside actually uh, is a sensor. Uh, that lets the phone know that your finger is on the actual button and to let it know uh, to uh, start recognizing and scanning your finger. Uh, so yes, uh, let's go ahead and now turn it on and show you what you guys need to do uh, to set up Touch ID. So first things first, let's go ahead and unlock the phone. Let me go ahead and put my password in. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so what you're going to need to do Head over to settings, uh, go down to general, scroll all the way down until you see uh, right here, touch ID and passcode. Uh, let me do this passcode thing again. Okay. Now, and then once you're in the passcode section, you want to hit touch ID. Uh, and then from here is where you will uh, just touch ID settings. So from the top here, you can either turn on or off iPhone unlock or uh, iTunes and App Store purchases. So if you choose not want, uh, that you don't want to uh, use the Touch ID sensor for either of those functions, that you, uh, then you can go ahead and turn it off if that is your preference. So anyway, to add a fingerprint to the Touch ID, all you have to do is hit add fingerprint. And um, then it'll say place your finger on the sensor. So that's I'm gonna what uh, that I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna use my index finger here. So we're gonna place it. And you, what you want to do is lift your finger up and down uh, in an even uh, motion to make sure the sensor will recognize your finger. And you also want to keep your finger on the sensor until the phone will uh, vibrate, and that'll let you know that the sensor has recognized your finger. So now I want me to adjust my grip, which I can't really do, so I'll just adjust my finger and put it in different sections like so. Okay, let's go ahead and continue with this. And there we are. Uh, the Touch ID sensor has now recognized my finger. So we can now go ahead and hit continue. Uh, and then your finger uh, print will be here. It'll default will be called finger three, uh, just depending on how many presets or fingerprints you've already uh, added to the sensor. Uh, if these other two were not here, this particular fingerprint would be called finger one. I guess you could. Uh, so, <clears throat> but if you want to delete a fingerprint, you hit edit and then you hit the little uh, red icon there and then hit delete, which I'm not going to do just yet. Uh, so anyway, that is how you add a fingerprint to uh, the actual Touch ID sensor. So now, once you've done that, you can actually use the sensor to unlock your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So let's go ahead and press the home button, put my finger on it, and there you go. We are now in the phone. So let me go ahead and show you guys that again one more time. There you go. It's quick and easy. No need to enter your password over and over again. Uh, it's very, very efficient, and most of the time will recognize your finger. Now, if the <coughs> uh, sensor tends to get dirty, uh, you'll need to wipe it off uh, before you can uh, do it because it'll end up giving you some errors and won't let you uh, recognize your finger. Uh, but anyway, uh, now, if it ha does happen to un or not recognize your finger, uh, like so, I'm going to use my middle finger now. As you can see, it says try again. And if you do this too many times, it'll have you put your passcode in. So you can see here, now I have to put my passcode in before I can continue to use the phone. So that's pretty cool. So it doesn't, it'll allow you to uh, put your passcode in so you don't get completely locked out of your phone 
uh, if it can't recognize your finger. So, another thing you can do with the Touch ID sensor is make purchases off of the iTunes and App Store. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the App Store now. So this is the top char uh, chart section. Uh, so I'm just going to download a free application. So just for example, I'm going to download the Kick Messenger. So let's go ahead and click on it. Uh, let it... Okay. Uh, actually, before you can actually use it, you have to type in your passcode to... Um, renew the sensor or activate it once you've added a new fingerprint. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have activated it, hopefully. And let me hit OK to that. Okay, so since I did that, let me go ahead and download another application. So let's go ahead and download Clash of Clans. Now this time it should actually uh, ask for my fingerprint, and there you go, you can see. It says you can either uh, scan your fingerprint or enter your passcode manually. So I'm going to go ahead and use my finger that I just uh, scanned. So I'm going to index finger here, put it on the sensor. Immediately, it'll authorize the purchase, and then there you go. It starts downloading the application. And then the same thing goes for iTunes Store. So if you want to download a song, TV show, or movie, uh, it'll have you put your fingerprint on the sensor, and then it'll authorize it, and then you can immediately download that content. So really, really nice, really efficient, and lets you get things done way quicker, in my opinion, because it's a lot faster and more efficient than needing to enter a passcode every single time. Uh, so, essentially, that's basically it. Uh, let me go back in here and show you guys one more thing. So let's go into Touch ID one more time. Too many passcodes to enter. Anyway, uh, let's go back to Touch ID. Now, like I said earlier, if you want to delete that fingerprint data from your phone, you hit Edit. Hit the little red icon, hit delete, and then there you go. Uh, you have removed the data from your phone, and then you can uh, add a different finger at a later time. So, pretty cool. Um, it is a wonderful feature of the iPhone 5S. I mean, it works really, really well. It's really nice, and Apple has done a very fantastic job with the sensor. I mean, it's superb, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, that's basically it of the Touch ID sensor and everything that it can do. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to comment below if you have any questions about this video or have any just general comments. Leave those in the section below. And it, also, thumbs up the video. It's much appreciated. As well as hit the subscribe button right down there. Helps me out a lot. Helps me bring you guys more content. Uh, and just overall, just helps my channel grow uh, bigger. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.